If you're no stranger to our channel, you probably know we like to do one dream shoot every year. Sometimes they're complex and we hire a bunch of people to help us out, and other times, like during a pandemic, it's more laid back. So the idea behind this shoot was to put a model in a fishbowl by the ocean to provoke the feeling of being trapped and longing for something more. Since most fishbowls don't fit over the average person's head and we didn't want to take any chances, we ordered this 10 gallon bad boy. Should be fine. And because you always ask to see more photo shoots done with a phone, we've partnered with Vivo to do just that. So armed with an oversized fishbowl, our talented model Jasmine, and the new Vivo X70 Pro and Pro Plus, we're gonna try and capture some unique photos. Vision Plus is an ongoing initiative by Vivo that aims to build an ecosystem of mobile photography that encompasses education, inspiration, and creativity. More on that later though. One crucial element that will help us along the way is Vivo's imaging system, which has been co-engineered with Zeiss, who of course is well-renowned in the camera lens world. Both the X70 Pro and Pro Plus have four rear cameras with different focal lengths to work with. So before our model arrived, we planned out each location and which cameras we wanted to use where. First up, we're shooting in this beautiful foliage filled pathway with light so creamy, you just want to dip a chip in it. When we position Jasmine like so, the light seems to get trapped in the fishbowl in a way that feels really dreamy. It does a good job with the HDR and post. Here we shot mostly with the portrait lens, which is a 23 millimeter equivalent close to the field of view of the 24 millimeter DSLR lens that we love shooting with. Somebody called Timothy Chalamet because it's dune time. Sand dunes, that is. Your best friend. Yay! While we've been using the portrait feature a lot, let's switch over to the pro mode, which allows us to control all of our settings. The focal length we want to use, the ISO, shutter speed, white balance, and we can shoot in RAW, giving us a DNG file to work with. We're honestly really impressed with the raw photos. It'll give us a lot of latitude to play with when we're editing after the shoot. I also want to try out the ultra wide camera, which is a 14 millimeter equivalent. Having Jasmine stretch an arm out towards me helps emphasize the effect of a wide angle lens and brings more visual interest to the photo. We also want to play with framing and perspective. So here we have foreground grass elements combined with a lower shooting perspective, which really highlights and frames our model and creates a tucked away feeling. In each location, we like to get complete coverage. Since we started close up, we'll now pull farther away to showcase more of the environment surrounding her. And while we're back here, we might as well try out that 5X optical zoom, which is the equivalent of a 125 millimeter lens. This is perfect for really popping your subject out from their environment. All right, call me Polly D because we're headed to the shore. Yeah, I'm not gonna call you that. The juxtaposition of the fishbowl right next to the ocean really feels like the perfect opportunity to capture feelings of longing from our model, so we want to shoot close enough for it to feel intimate. This is also a good time to try out these Zeiss portrait styles, which simulate the bokeh effects of classic Zeiss lenses. Not only does this help blur out distractions like boomer beachcombers, but it isolates our subject really nicely to bring the attention back to the emotion in the image. Well, don't be mean to the boomers. <laughs> They're dealing with enough. Another thing worth mentioning is utilizing HDR with our portraits. When we have strong highlights on our subject's face, enabling HDR helps to retain what may otherwise be blown out highlights. And then a little more fun with the ultra wide camera and an interesting perspective. We wanna take advantage of the last light of the day by placing Jasmine in front of the sun, backlighting her. All of the X70 series phones have Zeiss T coding certification on the cameras, which essentially helps improve image quality and reduces lens flares and other unwanted artifacts in more complex lighting situations. As blue hour starts to set in, we want to get a few moody beach shots of Jasmine laying in the sand. We move around to get a little variety with angles and perspectives. These ended up being some of our favorites of the whole day. Finally, we went back to the streets to find some ambient light to test out some more of our bokeh effects. Look at the bokeh to see how the different Zeiss photo styles alter the look of the bokeh. One thing that's pretty cool is the ability to adjust the focal point and the amount of bokeh after you've taken the shot. This gave us a lot of flexibility to make sure we ended up with the exact look we wanted. Overall, it was a pretty cool shoot. Thanks again to Vivo for sending us the X70 Pro and Pro Plus phones to shoot with. Our goal is to always encourage people to be creative in whatever way they can with whatever camera they have on them. And that's what Vivo's Vision Plus initiative is all about. Be sure to check out the Vision Plus Mobile Photo Awards contest next year to take part for yourself. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Also, side note, we know that pretentious people call it bouquet. We know that. We're not doing it on purpose. It's like calling it karaoke and not karaoke, right? Same thing.
Sure. I, we live in America and we just, we pronounce it in an American okay, English way. Okay, don't do America stuff. <laughs> Number one. <laughs>